Hello! Today on the channel we're going to be unboxing Mole Rat. This is a Walmart exclusive G.I. Joe classified series figure. Um, yeah, uh, didn't originally get this, but I saw they had it for a decent price on Walmart.com. Um, yeah, uh, had to pick it up. So there's the front of the box. Flipping it around to the back. Yeah, right there should do it. And flip it to the next side. There's that barcode if you'd like to scan. Get some facts about Mole Rat. It just stops wiggling. There we go. And the other side, there's that creepy Mole Rat. Still wiggling. There we go. Number 94. Here's the top. G.I. Joe Classified Series logo. And the bottom is your barcode legalese. All right, let's set it here, pull the camera back, get a closer look at the box, and we'll get it all unboxed. Four plus. There it is, nice and focused. Warning. All right, there's everything you get. So I'm guessing it's an alternate head. So you get this one with the mask or the non-mask head. Um, yeah, quite a few different things. A drill, a lamp, or a lantern, I should say. Some weapons. There he is. This digital render form. And the bottom of the box, flipping it to the back, number 94. And what the heck is that? I don't know. But there it is. <laughs> There's his head. Okay, it's just the front of his vest. I don't know why that's highlighted. Hmm. And then there's the rest of everything there. Bottom is your legalese. All right, let's set it. I don't know. I think I do these from the bottom. Yeah, there's just one piece of tape uh, as opposed to two on the top. Tilt down, grab that X-Acto knife, get that tape cut. Got it. No blood. Fantastic. Let's get Mole Rat out of his hiding spot here. Time to burrow on up. Okay. There he is. Where's his stuff? Oh, yeah. It's been a while since I've done a G.I. Joe. I forgot they come with these uh, ammo boxes. All right, let's see. All right. Okay, good. Don't need any Zacto knife. It's just ready to go. Flop. Oh, we don't need this. Get that out of here. Yeah, it says Mole Rat. I don't keep any of these. I mean, if I was a hardcore G.I. Joe collector, I'd keep everything, but no. It's, it's fine. It's just a paper box. <clears throat> Actually, I might throw all my wrappers in here. Yeah, just the one today on this one. There's all the stuff. Make sure it's empty. Very good. Alright, and what's this? Let's see if we can add. We need the exact knife for this one. Piece of tape here. And got it. Still no blood. That is fantastic. Alright. I think I got it. Yep, I got it. No, oh, it's the drill. Okay. It's all bendy anyway, like it needs extra protection. Oh, well. <clears throat> Alright, let's see if we can add this one. Piece of tape here. And got it. here. And we'll look at these accessories real quick. So we did look at this one. It's the drill. With the soft bendy plastic. There's a weapon. And we've got an alternate head with the hose. I'm guessing, is this the hose? No, there must be, I don't know. There's gotta be a hose somewhere that hooks to this. Eh, maybe, no, this is, goes on his back. Okay, and then it wraps around to his head. So this must hook into there, I guess. And then that's gonna have to, if that hooks to his back, this is gonna have to, good luck getting that to stay. I don't know, we'll figure it out. That's definitely his backpack. This tube, air tube, and there's the face looking all Star Lordy, but not on the back of the head, looking more like sloth. Hey, you guys! All right, <clears throat> the lantern. Oh, and then has a some movement there. That's nice. And a blob of purple paint. And what is this? It's kind of like a Geiger device, maybe. Just some kind of a readout device okay here looks like an extension for the tubing we'll see how that works and a funky blaster funky soft blaster 
All right, it's different. Looks pretty Star Warsy. All right, let's get to the main event. Let's get this mole rat out of his hiding spot. Let's see, I always forget. How do they? Okay, plastic ties. I wonder if I could just rip them out. Frankenstein his way out of here. Can't really. Yeah, they rip. I get tired of cutting every single tie. There we go. He's out. There's a mug shot. Behind. Get that out of here. Plastic ties. Get those out of here as well. Let's tilt up. Otherwise, we're not going to see nothing. All right, here we go. That is a creepy looking dude. Do you have any sugar I could borrow? Yeah, that's not coming to my door. I'm not up. I'm not opening the door for this guy. No way. <laughs> that's pretty cool. He's a thick dude. I like that. All right, trying to get him to stand here. So I can bring the camera back just a little further. I can look at some articulation here. All right, the head. Standard ball joint up in there. Sorry, how about we get it on camera? And I actually focus. That's fantastic. I'm sure you'd like to see what I'm doing here. All right, ball joint in top. There's a ball joint in the bottom of the neck too. So not a ton of movement, but that's your head up, which is not great. Head down a little better, I guess. I don't know why this is so funky. I guess because he's wearing this outfit. They have to go. This neck just doesn't get a whole lot of movement in there. I don't know, most of your movement's gonna be a little side to side and swiveling on that ball joint, but up and down is not a ton. How about I get back on camera? Yikes. I haven't done a video for a while, I'll be very honest. <clears throat> I'm very rusty. I took a week off because I got a little sick and dealing with that. All right, <clears throat> but I'm back. Let's see if I can get through this video here. Okay, I do like this figure though. He's very cool. All right, other than the head up and down so far. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna lie, there's not a lot of movement there. Okay, let's move on. Of course, you've got well, all the classified series have butterflies, but these are hardly even. There's not a lot of movement in the butterflies. I think it's just because it's such a thick, a thick outfit. I mean, it just hardly does anything. Just to be honest, not the best butterflies I've ever seen. Uh, he's got a pig on a rocker there for the shoulder. He does have a bicep cut right there. It looks a little funky though with the coloring of his jacket. So if you go like that, it's all kind of out of whack. Probably won't move mine that much. I'll probably leave it in the zero position. Double jointed elbows right there. And the hand, does it rock somewhere? Yeah, up and down. Up and down rock, so a vertical rock. Same with the other hand. And then he's got his hula hoop right here, which is just a ball joint. So there's your lean back, your lean forward. He does have a waist cut there on a ball joint that has a hard time moving because this is glued onto his tummy, his mole tummy. So, yeah, so you're not going to get that down any further than that because of this package. Not a package. This is a. Uh, it's a satchel. I don't know what it is. It's a storage. It's his tummy storage. That's the official word for this. Tummy storage. Okay. <clears throat> Under the tummy storage, you have that cut we talked about. It's just a ball joint there in the waist. All right. Moving on. Wow. He can really do the splits. I think all the GI Joes can really do the splits. Just the way they're kind of made. You can see the ball joint going in there. And then they always get funky when you do that. And push them up. There we go. So yeah, way good, pretty good kick out there. Always a good kick forward and your back kick. Then you got your thigh cut, which actually works pretty well. It doesn't get any funky or anything. That's a really good thigh cut there. Double jointed knee. Does have pins though. And then should have a boot cut. Yep, yeah, nice little boot cut there. And then a front facing pin on a rocker for the foot. All right, mole rat. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, I did uh, purchase him for uh, you know the standard twenty five dollars, but it was it's a Walmart exclusive. I didn't think I'd ever get one, but when Walmart had him uh, in stock for regular price, I was like, okay, that works. Happy to get that. Still looking for a 
what is it, a range viper. Is that what it's called, a range viper? I don't know, the guy that looks like he's got a skeleton face with a brain on the back of his head. I think it's the range viper, no. I can't remember what you call it. But that one's gonna be hard to get, I believe. All right, sorry about my rambling in this video. Like I said, I haven't done one of these in a while. Actually, it's been about two weeks since I done, did one because the, the videos that came out the week before, I had actually shot a week prior to that. So I am super, super rusty. But there's my old rat's extra head. Um, I'll do the, um, I'll get it all put together for the posing and you'll see him spin around with all the stuff on. There's his backpack, his lantern, his drill, his funky, okay, what is that back there? It's like there's a uh, little place you can plug something into it. Is that where the, hmm, I don't know half of these. I don't know where things are supposed to plug in or was that just for another figure and this is reuse? I don't know. What does the box look like? Where are you? Ugh. All right, and the box it just shows him with that. Which weapon is that? Okay, it's this plugged into something else. So what is that? It's this thing. Right? Jesus. What is it? Is it this one? Yes. Okay. My gosh. Okay, so it has that same exact look to plug it in. So I guess you could use it just like this or like this. That's, that's the point, I guess. There you got your big weapon. Okay. That's been solved. But the tubing yet to be seen. I'll figure that out. So tilt down there. There's everything that comes in the box for Mole Rat. All right, let's push this out of the way, get some other uh, figures for scale. The only two I have close by is Destro and Grover Commander, and I bet they're all going to be about the exact same height. They all seem to be pretty much the same height here. Yep. Oh, geez, Cobra Commander, come on. Like you can't stand all of a sudden. He was just standing right next to me. There you go. Okay, get a nice shot there. I think that's gonna be good enough there. All right, there is Mole Rat and his crew. Stay tuned for some posing. Thanks so much for watching.